Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update, Saturday, March 23rd, 745 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. The plasma, the solar wind models are in, and the CME and the plasma coming from the X 1.12 coronal mass ejection is headed our way, and it looks like a direct hit in just about a day and a half. More details in just a moment. Keep calm. It's boom time. Snowy Saturday and Sunday ahead for the entire state of Colorado and many other regions. As 12 to 18 inches of snow possible in northern New Hampshire, changing to mix and rain for many, it's going to be messy. Snow totals in the northeast already crazy for this time of year. 22 inches in Ludlow, 21 in Woodstock, 20 inches in White River Junction. Holy macaroni, and the snow is continuing as I speak, central Minnesota could get two feet of snow in a storm coming Sunday. Say it ain't soda, but it is. A couple of strong storms to impact the lower 48. It looks like heavy rain and a few thunderstorms will impact the eastern seaboard through tonight. For portions of New England, heavy snow and strong winds are expected. For the Intermontane West, a large complex storm is forecast to develop and track across the plains this weekend. And you can see winter storm watches and warnings out for over a dozen states throughout the central U.S. and even the West for the Sierras and even northern California. So it's going to be quite interesting as this spring storm moves across the country. Strong winds, heavy mountain snow, and lower elevation rain are expected. Snowfall intensity increases for the plains tomorrow. And let's take a look at those two storms. One moving out right now with heavy snow on the back end happening right now, adding to those massive totals in New England already. But in three, six, nine hours, that storm will be out and the second storm will have made its way into the Dakotas in a significant way. Here is Monday all day. Take a look at that system. That's going to be the heaviest hitting there Sunday and into Monday here where heavy totals will be coming. Let's look at the latest GFS on those total accumulations, and we'll walk it through. Here is the rest of tonight into tomorrow morning. You can see an additional 16 inches on the ground in the northeast. For Maine, it's insane. And already two feet of snow on the ground for New Hampshire and Vermont and upstate New York. More snow is coming as the system moves through the West. Take a look at these totals. Iowa is going to be picking up heavy amounts. Minnesota is going to be picking up. Northern Mish is going to be picking up, as well as North and South Dakota and Nebraska and the South San Juans. It's looking pretty good down here in the Four Corners region. And another system at the beginning of April here is going to move through the Four Corners. Take a look at these totals through April. Holy macaroni. Shut up, Al. Get your hole. Al Gore is not happy. It's snowing all the way into summer. What a bummer. Seismic update. We do have a coronal hole that is, uh, we are still in that seismic warning zone. And sure enough, almost a seven magnitude, 6.9 in Papua New Guinea. Good news. There is no tsunami warning, but a slight uptick overall in seismicity across the globe. As we take a look at worldwide volcano news, Semaru explosions from the summit crater continue and the volcanic eruption in near Grindavik on the Reykjanes Peninsula, there was a problem with gas pollution today as the workers were heightening that berm and a lot of warnings went out. So dangerous gas pollution threatening the surrounding areas currently as the volcano continues at pretty steady levels. Sabancaya today, Popo to 20,000, Nevada de Ruiz to 21,000. The volcanic eruption continues with relative steady activity at Reykjanes, like we said. Marapi today puffing to 14,000, Abeco to 10,000, and Ducono to 8,000. And that is the volcano news for the day. The sun, on the other hand, quite active as well. Take a look at this. Last 24 hours, multiple M flares and that long duration X1.12. Who knew? Now you do. KP7 forecast now for March 25th. That is not G0. That is G3. So they've got a typo there. But we could be in G2 and G3 geomagnetic storm for two days here, which means tomorrow night could be the beginning of a beautiful aurora forecast. Let's take a look. They have not updated that, but they have, well, 
updated this incorrectly. Take a look at the activity in the last 24 hours. Multiple M flares and that X 1.1. We've had two pulses of geomagnetic storm over the last two days and more is coming. And we haven't had a geomagnetic storm like this in quite some time. So it could be bringing Aurora all the way down into the low latitudes. It is confirmed a halo eruption on C2 and C3. We have that telemetry for you. We also made it all the way to S3 proton storm. Take a look at that. Luckily, it's been coming, dropping down quite rapidly. Oh, it is another pulse. It looks like it's going back up again. So we're currently in S2 proton storm that has been continuing since the CME. And here is ISWA showing that massive coronal mass ejection is going to smash into Earth in just about 24 to 36 hours with hours of powers. The WSA Enlil spiral is a little less scary, showing a smaller uh, CME here, albeit a direct hit boom on the Earth uh, overnight on the 24th to the 25th. If I can move through the CME for you here on Lasco, you can see that radiation there. Let's go back to the beginning and let's just walk this through. There is the coronal mass ejection that you can see come out halo here on the bottom. See that? That means it's headed directly towards us. And then shortly thereafter, you see these little speckles start to show up. That is the proton storm now bombarding the satellite here, Lasco C3, that we're looking at. And it just gets worse and worse as time goes on similar to the proton storm that we are currently uh, experiencing. Where is that data? Bam, there it is. All right, so we're keeping a close eye on that for you, and you should be keeping a close eye to the skies in the next two nights for some low-latitude aurora. Good news. More good news. Climate the Movie is out. It's free to watch. It's on our Rumble channel, The Cold Truth, where anybody that... Uh, is on the fence of is climate change real and are humans causing it after watching this movie, there is no denying the scam. The link will be below. Lee and I are talking about the cataclysmic polarity shift that the U.S. national security is not prepared for in a second part. We're going to link you below to the paper here. Cataclysmic polarity shift and the show is getting started in just a few minutes over at Magnetic Reversal News. Cataclysmic polarity shift part two. How can I prepare for such an event? Well, tune in and learn how. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned. We need your help to grow. We are preparing for the San Luis Valley Seed Exchange next weekend. A big event. And it's going to take a lot of preparation. But good news, we've got three days of snow to keep us inside, packing those boxes. Hit the thumbs up, become a Patreon, support the work we do, and watch all of our podcasts in one place, commercial free. Be safe. We love you, and we'll see you in just a minute over at Magnetic Reversal News to catch part two of Cataclysmic Polarity Shift. Mm -hmm.